List building. Proven free and low cost traffic methods. While this course is not a course on getting traffic, I do want to share with you some great free and low cost ways to get traffic to your squeeze page. So we're going to talk about free traffic first. With free traffic, we have article marketing, forum marketing, ad swaps, video marketing, guest blogging, and press releases. Now, you don't need to know or be an expert in all of these different topics, but let me just hit on each one of these types of marketing that you can do right away. And you can either research it more or choose another way to market your squeeze page. Like I said, I've included a lot. Like right here, there's just these six ways. If you can just master one way, you're going to be ahead of the game and you can drive a lot of traffic. Just through article marketing, you could drive a ton of traffic. Just through doing ad swaps, I mean, you could generate hundreds, if not thousands of visitors every single day. So decide what type of marketing avenue you enjoy doing and then just amp that up. That's the best thing that I can recommend for you. So let's start talking about some of these free traffic sources. The first type of traffic source that you can get for free is article marketing. With article marketing, what you do is you create short 300 to 750 word articles in your niche. You use keywords in your title and scattered throughout the article, and you link back to your squeeze page in the resource box. You can go to a website called ezinearticles.com. That's a great website that allows you to submit your articles and have a resource box linking back to your website. Article marketing is a great way to get free traffic. For more information on article marketing or any other type of marketing, just go ahead, type it into Google. There's plenty of free information out there. The next type of free marketing is called forum marketing. And with forum marketing, what you do is you join forums, message forums or message boards or bulletin boards in your niche. And what you do is you create something that's called a signature file. A signature file, it's going to be like a resource box. It's going to have a place where you can have a call to action. Something like, for more information on whatever topic you're writing about, click here or visit my website. Or visit my website for a free report. Something along those lines. You want something that is going to entice people to go ahead and click on your signature file. And what you want to do with forum marketing is you become active in the forums, you make posts, and you respond to people's questions. The thing about forum marketing is you need to make sure that you don't get spammy or try to sell anything on the forum. Just use your signature file. Your signature file is going to have that call to action linking to your squeeze page. And with forum marketing, you want to try and be as helpful as possible. You want to join multiple forums and post multiple times per day if possible. Join as many forums as you can. Post as often as you can. Next form of free advertising is going to be ad swaps. And with ad swaps, you're going to need to have some subscribers on your list before you do ad swaps. But with ad swaps, what you do is you find marketers in your niche with about the same size list as you, and you do an ad swap. What basically happens is you mail their offer to your list and they mail your offer to their list. Generally with ad swaps you're going to be mailing right to a squeeze page, a giveaway, a free offer. Ad swaps are a great way to add subscribers to your list. You can find many, uh, many other marketers in lots of different ways, but a website called safeswaps.com is probably the easiest. With safe swaps, you can hook up with other marketers and they'll allow you, you can do ad swaps with them. You can find people with similar list size to you and do an ad swap with these people. Ad swaps really are a good way to get traffic. But with ad swaps, you are going to need some traffic. You can also seek out other marketers in your niche by looking at ClickBank and Google. Just look for people that have lists. When you see in your niche, when you see someone with an opt-in form, you can contact them. Say, hey, would you like to do an ad swap? Other marketer has a larger list than you. Offer to mail more than one time to make up for the amount of clicks. 
And you always want to try and match the amount of clicks that are sent when you're doing ad swaps. The other way you can get some free traffic to your squeeze page is through video marketing. And with video marketing, you can create simple slideshow videos from the articles that you've created. If you're going to do some article marketing, you can upload the videos to YouTube and other video sharing sites. You can link back to your squeeze page in both the description box and in the video if possible. Have a call to action. Use keywords in the title and description so hopefully you can get some search engine traffic through this video marketing. And remember that the more videos you have out there, the better your results will be. Now those are just several ways that you can get free traffic. Lots of information out there on all these different types of traffic, just Google search it. Google is great for finding information. Now, let's also talk about low-cost traffic. With low-cost traffic, we're going to be talking about solo ads, PPC marketing or pay-per-click marketing, Facebook advertising, and cost-per-view or pay-per-view marketing. Now, with solo ads, what a solo ad is, is you purchase a solo mailing from another marketer and that marketer will send your ad to their list. Meaning you put out an ad for your squeeze page and another marketer will mail your offer to their, their list. Solo ads range in price from about 30 cents per click to over a dollar per click based on many different factors. When you want to purchase a solo ad, and I do recommend solo ads are a great way to build a list, especially if you're in the internet marketing or make money niche, solo ads are a great way to get traffic to your website. And safe swaps, the same place that you can do ad swaps, it's also a great place to find sellers of solo ads. Solo ads, they're generally going to be mailing for a free offer. You don't mail or you don't buy solo ads for paid offers you're generally mailing or having mailed a squeeze page. And you want to make sure that you only deal with reputable solo ad sellers. Most solo ad sellers have testimonials and reviews from other marketers. Make sure that you pay attention to those reviews. And with solo ads, you might want to also find out if they have some buyers on their list. If people have buyers on their list, generally it'll be a more responsive list and maybe a little bit more responsive to your offer. Another type of low-cost marketing can be pay-per-click marketing. Pay-per-click marketing is where you only pay for the actual clicks to your website. The most popular pay-per-click network out there is going to be Google AdWords. And the thing to remember with pay-per-click is you only bid on the keywords you want people to click on. And with PPC marketing and PPC advertising, most of the time, the highest bidder is going to get the best placement. Pay-per-click marketing, like I said, you're only paying for the actual clicks to your website. And Google AdWords, they're the largest PPC network, but they're very hard to get ads approved and don't really like squeeze pages. So I recommend that you seek out smaller PPC networks like Yahoo and Bing or 7Search and other smaller networks. Just Google PPC network and you should be able to find plenty of PPC networks. Now with PPC, it's very important that your squeeze page converts visitors into subscribers. So before you go shelling out money on PPC, make sure that your squeeze page is converting your visitors into subscribers. And make sure you test and track everything as well. There's several different testing and tracking platforms that are out there. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this training, but once you are set up, you will want to get some tracking software. Now, another form of low-cost advertising can be Facebook advertising. Facebook, they have become the new king of online advertising. Facebook is great because it lets you target demographics amazingly well. And you can go with both a, a pay-per-click model or a paper impression model, which is nice about Facebook advertising. With Facebook, you can advertise on the sidebar and inside the actual user newsfeed, making it a very effective form of advertising. You can also use pictures in your ads. In Facebook advertising, in general, it's very easy to get started with and provides for a good user experience 
and is a good experience for the marketer. Another type of low-cost advertising is going to be CPV or PPV marketing. In CPV, it's inter-based, interruption-based marketing. They're basically pop-ups. They weren't looking for your ad, but your ad can pop up alongside other ads depending on the website that the person is on. PPV marketing, it can be very low priced, less than a penny per impression, but because it is interruption-based marketing, your conversion rates are going to be much lower. Nice thing about CPV and PPV marketing is you can even advertise on competitors' websites without their knowledge. There's lots of big companies out there that provide CPV advertising. I recommend that you get started with Lead Impact. That's at leadimpact.com. The thing to know with CPV and PPV marketing is you are going to need at least a $200 budget. So try all the other forms of marketing. Make sure that you have a squeeze page that's converting, an offer that's converting, before you go shell out a lot of money on advertising and marketing of your squeeze page. So there you go. You have the basics of creating a list, creating a free product. Now what you need to do is go out there and build your first profitable list. You can do it.